the big toe, of course, that is Big E. I haven't got the camera figured out because I mirrored it. There you go. So I'm slowly getting it. <laughs> um, well, we went out this weekend. You bet we did. <laughs> we realized quickly that we're not in our young age no more. Nah, fuck ass no. Um, so Eric, I, and a whole bunch of other people went out for St. Patty's Day on Saturday. Um, I just had, the plus that was a long ass day. You know, I had so much shit going on that day. Yeah, you had other shit beforehand. Yeah, like I did work. Then I went to a birthday party. And then at the same time, like everything is like slowly the pieces are coming together. So, yeah. and then I got back, I changed and then went out and... Then there's fucking this guy. He's trying to kill people already from traffic. And he just, I don't know, maybe just, you know, maybe you're just not a people person no more. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's, it, uh, I quickly, yeah, I realized again, like I'm getting old and I'm getting that, like, I don't know. I guess there's been like other, People do segments, and I guess it's an old age thing, and we get it now. It's what grinds my gears type of shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> like people irritate the shit out of me nowadays. And like, my kid just brought this up uh, yesterday because she worked. We picked her up from work, and she's starting to realize about working with the public. She's a cashier at the grocery store. Like, she's like, people are fucking idiots. <laughs> like, pretty much. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, you. I've been doing it for about thirty some years. So yeah. like, your tolerance of people just sucks after a while, and it's just like it was. It, for me, it was like going over to Lawrenceville, which was cool because I, I don't like hang out in Lawrenceville since we left, and it's changed. Mm -hmm. Um, but I mean, yeah, I go over there. I'm in Lawrenceville every Wednesday bowling, but it's it's a different feel compared to being out there on a Saturday night. So it's like, yeah, like you said, as soon as I got on the Butler Street and there was just idiots walking out in front of the street, uh, in front of my car, dude trying to cross the street, drunk on crutches. Like, I'm like, come on. Like, yeah, I messaged you because I couldn't find the place because their name isn't on the fucking building. No, it's literally on the door because the place we went to was called The Pitch and it just got bought from the old spot used to be called no names but i guess whoever owned that building like had graffiti tags and all that all on the on the front i mean saying it was no names you never would you wouldn't have known it was the pitch until you literally walked up to the door yeah like i was so confused because I, I drove past it like twice and i called you like where is this place because i i thought that that's what it was i like to, when i was looking the place up to see what it was and i was checking out the menu for dinner I was like, oh, that's behind Old Barb's Country Kitchen. Like, when we were growing up, that was, I mean, it's still kind of there. Like, that was the spot. I'm like, oh, that's right across from the cemetery. Yeah. Didn't know. But, so, yeah, like, but just going into Lawrenceville, like, it's a whole different scene and, like, this hipster crowd and this new young age shit. Like, it's just not for me. Well, that, and on top of all that, it was St. Patty's Day weekend. So, yeah. I mean, granted... You know, as I said last week, like I couldn't because, you know, daddy duty comes first. But um, I did. I wanted to do something and I wanted to be out. And I'm glad we got the crew that we had together. Um, I wish we could add more. You know, things happen. It is what it is. Yeah. So, but, um, uh, but yeah, all in all, it was a fun ass time. We had a blast. Food wasn't yeah. bad. No, the food was the food wasn't horrible. Uh, I mean, our what whatever she was server slash bartender, like she was cool, very like uh, tentative, and you could tell she was new. I mean, she even admitted like she kind of didn't know really what was going on a yeah, little right. bit, but she was cool about it. If she didn't know, she went and asked or tried to find out for us like questions that everybody had about drinks and stuff like that, and uh. I think for us, I think, because, like, 
I guess the idea was to possibly like go to a couple different places. But like, I think for me, it was kind of like, I was glad we stayed there, even though towards the end of the night. And when I talked to you the next day, there was some issues. Um, but like, I think for us, it was cool because we did have such a large group and they were accommodating to like, we had room, like we weren't crowded in, everybody could bounce around and talk to us, you know, one another. Or there was a few times where a few people might've broke off into a littler group to go bullshit or go up to the bar and grab some drinks and this and that. And like, that was kind of nice. Like, I feel like if we would have went back into more like the heart of Lawrenceville, like back the other direction i feel like some of those bars and, and shit would have been super crowded and like you said at st patty's day like they'd have been crazy packed and it just would have been hard for us to you know be the group that we were right i mean it was nice once we got there like to have the booth that we did and you know because we walked in and you were like hey they said it says please seat yourself yeah and that's what I thought. I was like, bet, this is perfect because that's when you all went over there and I went up to the bar yeah. and started like, you know, getting drinks and shit. But then, um, shout out to Andrea. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, it was cool shit. Cause, cause you asked her, you're like, look, we got a larger group coming. Like, what, are, what can we do for room? And she was like, do what you want. The chairs, like, yeah, just move like, the tables and chairs. And I was like, all right, cool. And then, you know, the rest of our people came and it was good. Yeah. Um, it ended up being me, Brandy, and Brandon at the end of the night. And oh, it really? was funny is we went from the booth uh -huh. to the, there was a table by the bar. Okay. And next thing you know, uh, I was talking to, to the one bartender, who was uh -huh. Nick, shout out to Nick. And... And next thing you know, I'm vaping in the fucking right in the pitch, like nothing. Yeah. And I asked Dick if it was a problem. He was like, no. He was like, it's not like it's a cigarette that's going to blow everywhere. Yeah. I was like, that's what I figured because I know some places in like in Cincinnati, they let us do that. And I just don't know how the difference is here. You know what I mean? Yeah. Plus, we here in Pittsburgh, it's like smoking and non smoking bars and all yeah. that shit. So, um, other than that, and then. <clears throat> Uh, the owner, Brian, I mean, I hope it works out for him because this is all new to him starting. But, yeah, I mean, I had fun. Now, the, then, was he the dude that that was helping us out during that issue? That he yeah. screwed up? Was that him? Yeah. Uh, okay. So he, he seemed like, I didn't know if he was just the manager or if he was the owner or what the deal was. Nah, he, he's the owner. You could just tell that he was an authority figure. Yeah. Absolutely, 100%. But what was funny is, first, it was, so there, I'm not bad math in the pitch, so if anybody thinks I am, I'm not. It was a very well-received spot, and they accommodated me, my friends, my family. Yeah. It was really cool. But being a new spot, it ran into some problems. Yeah. You know? Like, my cousin Tyler's bill was a little fucked up. They don't know how to do Irish breakfast shots. Nope. <laughs> when they figured it out by the time the second round was ordered the with the first they, round. You know, yeah. But what's great is he knew after the flight, he he was not fast enough to catch us because <laughs> they were already... You got to be quicker with us in the alcohol. I'm telling you, man. You got It's almost like the State Farm thing. You got to be quicker than that. Yeah. Like, and then when the second one came around, I remember I was like, I was, I was yelling, like, hold on, wait. And I grabbed one. I was like, yeah, we're good. Yeah. You can smell the maple. I was like, uh uh. You ain't fucking us over a second time, dude. But the one thing they could not get down was a bill. Like, no. not at all. Like, I woke up the next day and saw that. It was five hundred and little under five fifty. It was charged yeah. in my account, and I'm in a fucking holy shit panic mode. Yeah, because I was like, "There's no way! Like, there's no way! If I bought every fucking person's drink there the entire night, 
cold. Yeah. Maybe. But I was, I remember telling Brandy, I was like, there's no way I spent $500 here. There's no fucking way. Now, did you get so, because we talked about that the next day when you called. I went back and looked because, so when they check you out, they have the little handheld, like, what is that? Square. Yeah. They got payout system or whatever. And what, when I, so I paid and then it said, how do you want your receipt? And I had them text it to me because I would have lost the paper receipt. So I just had them text it to me and I went back and looked because in the text, there was a link you could click on and it pulled up a digital copy, a detail of what all I was charged for and how much each thing was. Did you get anything like that? So, um, after we woke up, I saw the charge. I saw what time it was. And, you know, I when mean, we slept in, a little hungover, it happens. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> I called them up. And after waiting on hold for 20 minutes, uh -huh. which me and Bran were thinking they knew they fucked up. Yeah. Because I don't so, think they would have been that busy on a Sunday. No. So they were telling me, like, uh, what, how many charges do you have? And I was like, I have three. And I was like, one's for like four or something. The other one's for like 89 and one's for 15. They were like, wait, we only have two. And I was like, okay, well, what do you have? And they said, we have one for like, eh, I was like 190. And that was including the $50. I gave Andrea $50 for just the whole night for helping us out. Yeah. And I was like, that makes a little bit more sense. And then... The other one was like $20 off. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, what, what's, something's wrong. So they were like, we can email them to you. I was like, yes, please do that. So they emailed me all three. And it was just like yours, very detailed. And I'm reading it off. And I was like, okay, yeah. this is this, this is this, this is this. And then I was like, why do I have, like, I had like four crafts on there. Uh -huh. And then I realized that, I, first, I was thinking it was our Coronas, but they weren't because Corona yeah. is still a domestic. It's not. It's not an import. Yeah. Um. And then it was like Brandon's Guinness. That's. Uh. So, um, again, and then it wasn't just it wasn't me. Like I wasn't looking for money from anybody, but I was like, "Yo, check your shit," because yeah. I didn't think it was going to be a consistent problem. But I saw something with Tyler. Yeah. Like, and I was like, oh, man, I hope this doesn't do us dirty. And it's almost like it double charged you to get everything fixed. And it would yeah. fix, like, reset itself. Uh, but, I mean, I told Brandy, I was like, what if I didn't have $500 fucking dollars in there? Yeah. You know what I mean? So, um, we had, like, like brunchish. And then we kind of went back to bed. That's when I knew I was fucking so hungover. Yeah. And then we woke back up and it did. It reset. The whole thing did. Oh, okay. So I don't know per se if that was it actually resetting or them seeing the bill and be like, yo, we fucked up and charged him way. I think it might have been them saying, realized because you called in. Yeah. Because if you wouldn't have called in, they just went like, all right, we just. Bank just rock somebody for almost fucking five, six hundred dollars. Yeah. So, I mean, would I go back? Sure. You know what I mean? But I would watch my shit. Yeah. Like, and again, it's not saying anything bad against them. It's just they're new. So they probably don't know the ins. Like, they're probably a new business. So they probably don't really know the ins and outs of everything. Yeah. So, and then I told, I was talking to Brandon, our buddy B, and I said, listen, um, I would go there. I wouldn't make no night of it no more. Like, you know what I mean? Pop in, have one or two, get the yeah. fuck out. Like, I mean, plus it was still Lawrenceville. I'll take a dive bar any day. Any day. Well, because it had like a dive bar feel to it. It did when you walked in, like... Because there was, like... I don't know. Like, it was so plain, and... I mean, they had TVs everywhere. Yeah. Which I get it, because... You know, from what Jen and Craig saying, like, they're gonna be, like, another soccer spot. So I'm like, okay, that makes sense. But it was, like, yeah, like... 
the front of the building, like when we when you walk the door, you walk in, and like where that bathroom was, we were all using. Like mm -hmm. you could tell up there, there was like I don't want to say construction going on, but they were working on some like it just so, it, it, it wasn't finished, you know. That spot Andrea told me is going to be for like live music. Oh okay. And then because I was kind of feeling in the same sense that you were, like what the fuck is happening here? Yeah. And then when she told me, I was like, oh well, you know what? That makes sense. You know where yeah. a band can be at, and whatnot. But um, I mean, the little patio area that we were all at, like me and my family, um, that was cute. Like there was this big, gorgeous fucking. It almost resembled like a cherry blossom tree, and you know me, I love cherry blossoms. Yeah. And it was just how the lights were. It like illuminated this pinkness. It was fucking uh. really cool. And then we were out there playing like Connect Four and shit. <clears throat> and then I was like, hey, it's kind of cold out here. That's why some of us didn't come out. Like, you all went out there, and we were like, oh, okay. But then Steph and Britt, I think, they came back in, and they're like, it's freezing out. We're getting our jackets. We're like, okay, see you later. <laughs> like, Yeah, right. Have fun with that. And then <clears throat> I said something to Steph, because we were out there. And Tyler says, I want to take a picture of all of us because we're all out together. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, that sounds cool. And then I was like, oh, my God. I was like, Steph, are you going back in? Yes. Can you go get Brandy? Sure. Yeah. So <clears throat> when they went and got Brandy, they were just saying, like, come on outside. Or, hey. Blah, blah, blah. But they didn't tell her why. Yeah. Like, so I was like, a little bit of detail go a long way. Yeah. But yeah, we ended up taking those pictures and then Tyler was like, fuck this, I'm cold. Well, he's this fucking big. I know. And it's freezing out. So yeah. And I'll still stand on this and I said it there and I'll say it again. Jen Sibyl loves the gays. She loves the gays. <laughs> yeah, she does. But yeah, I mean, all in all, I, very enjoyable. Uh, apparently my drunk ass got Brandy lost in Pittsburgh. I don't remember. Getting home? I assume. Yeah. I don't know. Apparently I told her different turns and whatnot. If your boyfriend's drunk and you're not from here, I would have used the GPS. That's just me. How do you, you can't get lost going home. Um I can't really know what I'm doing. You know? That's what I would have did. I'd have just used the GPS. Like you just had to go down Butler Street and get on the forty street bridge and get on twenty eight. Yeah. I know. Or even better, just go all the way down Butler Street to the other bridge and go straight into fucking right into Rod the fucking right into Rod Eight. I mean, I get it. She's not from here. Can't falter. And no, that's why I said if you just use a GPS, she could have called you, us. Why would you rely on your drunk ass boyfriend? Could have called us. Could have called on anybody. But nevertheless, it was a fun weekend. Um, some people didn't make it, but I, um, talked to them, uh, actually today and, uh, she merely wants to do something soon. So yeah, I figure I will seriously try once a month to get out, out, you know what I mean? Yeah. It, it's if possible. I'm not saying like, I'm not etching it in stone. It's just. You know, we don't go out. And I'm not wanting us to go, like, you know, as, as hard as it went Saturday. But well, like I said, we realize we're fucking old. That's why we don't go out. Well, you hate everybody, too, so. I told you, you better have your shit kickers on, because we were fighting someone. I know. It was waiting for you to fucking fight fucking half fucking St. Patty's Day, people. I don't care. I know. We walked right in. We're like, we're fighting somebody. Like... Oh my god. I just can't deal again with the attitude of the newer generation. And I guess that's like how like the older generation felt about us. You know what I mean? Like right. it's just a trickle effect, but it's like still I'm like, yeah, I don't like Or maybe these. you're just a miserable old man. I just don't like these people. I wouldn't say I'm miserable. I could I'm a happy go lucky guy when I wanna be. Till you call me on the phone, ranting. But you got to put me in the right element. Like, you put me in the wrong element. 
It's not that I'm going to be grumpy. I'm just, I'm going to be on standby. <laughs> like, He's waiting for shit to pop off. <laughs> yeah. But no, I mean, in, in your defense, though, when we were just walking, like literally walking to find a place. Yeah. I almost wanted to deck three people. Yeah. I mean, there was a dude, he was, when we left, because we left at midnight, and uh, <laughs> there was this dude across the street, across the corner where we stand for for the for the parade. He's chilling over there, and he's he's wobbling. He's left, right, up, up, off the curb into the street. Where are you going? He's this girl's ahead of him. She's fucking. She's got that like retching, resting bitch face walk going on. Like she's in march mode and she's she can tell she's in her green gear and they had to have been out all day like parade time on they was all day events and she was not having it he's like hey where are you going you can't walk home by yourself she's like you fucking bet i can i was like oh. he's like you're gonna get lost i was like oh yeah. my god and i'm like and i saw this dude he's just like looking over our way and i'm like oh don't let him come over here like you go back in that bar and you get me I'm like, oh shit! And he he took a little stumble off the curb. I'm like, a oh, car's probably gonna hit him before he even makes it across my way. The the guy and the girl <clears throat> that makes me think of um, what is it? Key and Pill, the Megan. Yeah. She's like, no. <laughs> that yeah, that's pretty much <laughs> what it was. Drinks. Like, like she was she. You could tell she was lit too. But she was in shoes that she probably did not want to be in the rest of the. She's already tired of them. And she's just marching down Butler Street, like along the cemetery fence, like going in to like our way, like going towards like Stanton Avenue. Yeah. And he's trying to catch up to her. And he's just like, babe, where are you going? You can't go by yourself. And she's like, yes, I can. I was like, oh, shit. With her heels in hand. <laughs> I'm like, no, dude, you aren't going to make it. It's <laughs> what's happening. Yeah, like, right. For sure. But when we left, uh, I gave <clears throat> got to give it to Brandon. Like Brandon walked us to the car, yeah. And I was like, "Where are you going?" He was like, "Walking to your car." And I was like, "I thought I was like, I'm a 41 year old man." <laughs> like he's like, know, but I know. I, he's like, I know New Lawrenceville. You don't <laughs> like <laughs> right. But I mean, like, shout out to him. Like just being the friend that he is, and just making sure we got you know home okay. And apparently. 20 year old me is still there when I start drinking. I was like, I'll drive. Why? <laughs> why? why? And Brandy's like, you're not driving. I was like, well, why not? Why are you letting me talk? Like, I full warned her before we left, dude. I, I, I have to admit, I, I, when we were getting ready to leave, we were saying like goodbye to her or whatever, like her and Donna were hugging it up or whatever. And uh, I was getting my jacket on. And I was like, listen, I'm going to let you know right now. Your man's lit. I was like, I've seen him in many stages of drunk. I was like, he's he's at that happy go lucky point. I was like, he's not gonna be a jerk. He's not gonna be an asshole. But he might he might want to argue with you a little, a little bit, like like you said, like getting in the car. Like I'm driving. No, you're not. Well, why not? Like you know what I mean? Like I know I could picture how that conversation went, and I wasn't even there. Like I know. And I forewarned her, and she was like, yeah. Because I, I, I'll admit, I straight out asked her. I was like, I was like, I know you guys go out and do stuff, you know, whatever. Like, you guys have your date nights or whatever. I was like, but have you seen him, like, out, out? And she was like, you know, this is the first. And she was like, that's when she was like, he warned me about himself in general. And I was like, I was like, well, yeah. I was like, but I was like, did he warn you about the stages? And she was like, stages? <laughs> like, <laughs> I was like, well, yeah, like, you know, it depends, you know, you, the stages are however many he's in <laughs> for the night. Yeah. And yeah. she was like, oh, and I was like, you're good tonight. I was like, he's feeling it. He's happy go lucky. I was like, but I was like, yeah, he's, uh, he might give you a little bit of a hard time about a few things. I was like, there's a chance he might get home. He might not want to get out of the car. Like, I don't know. <laughs> like, That's, I was like, that could happen. It's happened. I've seen that man be like, fuck it, I'm sleeping here. And I'm like, all right, fuck it, sleep there. Like, I'm not fighting well, like, with you. What's funny is I think like an hour before we left here, yeah, I told her 
that I have plans to take this face and detach my face. Like, yeah. I, that's the plan. Like, cause I don't know. I don't, that doesn't happen no more. So I took the opportunity to just fucking cut loose. Yeah. Am I, not? I mean, yeah, same thing. Like, you know, like you said, we don't, we don't go out and do out. And then there was, uh, you know, part of the other point of us going out was because there was people there that, I mean, obviously you see more than I do, but even for you, it's a long time. I mean, it's your family, but you know, with some of these people living out of state and shit, I, I couldn't tell you the last time I seen Steph and Matt and Tyler, like, you know, uh, so it's like, yeah, like it was nice to just go out and, and just hang out with people. And like you said, beast came through, which was nice. Uh, you know, it was Char uh, Charles and Britt and Jen and Craig. Like, it was it was a good crew. It was a nice nice little night out. Right, and we like kept it very in a way. Even though, yes, like I was in my happy go lucky. Like we, were, it was still very low key. Like, yeah, you know, it was yeah, nice like, to nobody, be just together. No, nobody was. Well, nobody went to jail. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> like, no one's in jail. No one died. I mean. I can even say Jen was in a good place. <laughs> Jen was. Yeah. She, I, would, I would say Jen was in sinking because that woman was in a better place. She, she she walked into the place in a whole nother level. I was like, oh, here we go. <laughs> like, I know. She come right at me. She was like, I don't even want to talk to you after what I just saw walking in here. I was like, what? I was like skipping. Yeah. Like just fucking around. Like you see me do NSYNC dances on bars. Yeah. Like, what? Like she then, came like, over, so because you were going, you were you were skipping going to the bathroom, yes. and then she came over and she goes, "What the fuck did I miss?" We were like, "Nothing." nothing. She was like, "What was that?" We were like, "He was skipping." Like I don't know what to tell you. Like yeah, like there's there's nothing. There's no explanation it. for it. He just did it. Like I can't vouch for any way. Right. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. That's just what the fuck Paul did. And he just felt like skipping at the moment. Sometimes you feel it. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm glad they finally changed that fucking television to the fucking uh, a game. Oh, like, yeah, because there was we was watching like fucking NBC nightly news, and then we was yeah. watching some veterinarian show. <laughs> right. And then I was they, like, then, then they put on the basketball us? game. Yeah, they well, I guess to their defense too, like that they put on the ACC championship. That game didn't start till like eight or eight thirty. That on Saturday, so it was like a later start for that game because there was tons of championship games on all weekend. So it was like an all night, all day event. So I guess, but that's why I'm like, why didn't they have on any other kind of? I mean, all the other TVs had sports of some sorts on them. Right. Or the one that faced us that we could see, we was watching the news and the veterinarian show. Right. And I was like, I th this isn't very bar friendly. Like no. Nobody really gives a fuck about the veterinarians, like, like no. right now. You know what I mean? But uh, nobody would have got home by ten o'clock. I want to point that out too. No, but that's what I mean. Like when you stop and think about it, like so we got there at seven, but then like we didn't order food till like seven thirty, if not a little later. Mm -hmm. And then we ate, like so we had our food. But then Jen and Craig were the first ones there. I don't, I mean, like, but like the main people that were supposed to show up, your family, like, they didn't roll in till eight or so. Yeah, but that's because uh, Steph told me she had to get Jackson went. Well, I mean, it was under, I mean, it was, like, I mean, I don't care. Like, it's just, I'm just saying though, like, that's what I mean. Like, trying to have a set plan that night was not like, okay, we're going to do this at this time, this at this time, this at this time. Like, no, that wasn't happening. That's why, like, I think we, like, because, again, I know that the initial plan was to maybe hit a few spots or go try travel Butler Street. But it was, like, I think once everybody got there, everybody was having a good time. And, again, we had enough space and accommodation for us. Nobody said anything like, oh, let's bounce, let's roll. Like, everybody was cool just staying put. Well, I whispered over to Stephanie, like, I think after we, like, they ate, Char and Brett had their food and whatnot. And I whispered, I was like, are you good here? And she's like, I'm I'm great here. Like, yeah. She's like, this is cool. So that was that pretty much solidified it. So I was like, other than that, I was like, I wasn't even gonna bring it up afterwards. Like, there's no point. So 
Yeah, I know. Like, it yeah. was it was cool. Yeah, we'll uh have to do it again. <clears throat> but yeah. I need time to prepare. What like a month? I don't know. Maybe. At least way after Russell. We gotta, we gotta get through oh, Russell. Oh yeah, we got mania. <laughs> we gotta get through that weekend first, bro. Yeah. yeah, for sure. I mean, not like anybody's getting wasted for that, but it's like But it, it can be exhausting. It can be that's some entertaining shit nights. there in itself. Yeah. Um so I guess we'll address the elephant in the room that Kenny Pickett's gone. Kenny's gone. Kenny Pickett's gone. He went to the Eagles because he's a bitch. We'll yeah, he, he and... had his um, press conference today w with the Eagles, like with his signing. Eagles. And he's, he just said that he felt it was time for him and the organization to separate. Like him, hit, him and his plan for the future and their plan for the future were two different paths. So he just felt it was time to go. But it was like, you know, he put out the long Instagram post of thanking the city of Pittsburgh, his time at Pitt. You know, all of his boys and stuff like that, but nowhere in there did he thank anything or have any acknowledgement of the Steelers whatsoever. No, no, I mean, so I'm like, you could at least give him a little shout out, like, thanks for drafting me. Like, who's to say where he could have ended up or where he would have went if the Steelers didn't draft him in that first right. round when they did? It's like, so at least, be like, all right, you know, I thank the organization for drafting me, giving me a chance. Like, I understand that, okay, everybody went their separate ways. Like, it is what it is. We got Russell Wilson and fucking just, Justin Fields. We went from having one of the, and I'm and I'm a Kenny Pickett guy because again, like everything he did for Pitt and everything, like I I don't have any ill will towards him. Um, I think it was said earlier today on ESPN, like just wished that he just would have that that the relationship would have ended in a better way. Like, well, he that, didn't handle this well at all. As soon as Russ yeah, came in, but he's he young. like a bitch. Yeah, and he's young, so it's just like, okay. But, like, so, I mean, like, I got Kenny Pickett gear. Like, I'm not going to go burning it or getting rid of it. You know what I mean? Like, I never you know, understood why people do that shit either. I don't either. But, you know, but, hey, we went from having one of the craziest, I don't want to say the worst quarterback rooms in the league, but it was not an A-plus spot whatsoever. Right, and now with him, Mason Rudolph, and and Mitch Trubisky, now we got Russell Wilson, Justin Fields, and a question mark. And it's like, what, like, what, what the hell happened? Like, I don't know, man. They, they are pulling some fucking moves in the free agency, especially now uh, with them, Patrick Queen. Uh, what is it, Devontae or De yeah, Devontae Johnson's gone. Yeah, like. Bro, and they and fucking... they got that and they got that uh kid for him who's supposed to be a stud. Right. Uh, that Especially defensive, now they have... the defensive back. They have um, Marty Smith running the fucking OC. Yeah. Like, damn. Oh I don't and know. I, they said that you gotta watch with Artie Smith, like <laughs> they were joking about it today on the Pat McAfee show, like hey, if he cause evidently cause he you know he's he's a southern guy. And especially because he was just in Atlanta for how many years? Like he has a pretty good Southern accent. And if that somehow gets mixed with the Yinzer accent. Oh my God. He might as well just say he's from like Washington County. They said that he's like, they said that he kind of looks like a character out of the water boy because um, he, uh, he says his numbers weird, like a oh, weird, they said the number 10. And there was another number. Like, like they said, when he says the number ten, like us, we just say the number ten. He says the number ten, number ten, like a ten, a ten. Yeah, yeah. and I'm like, Billy oh, Bob call it a plane. <laughs> yes, I was like, oh shit. And they said there's a, another number or two that he says like that. Like really, they're like he adds extra syllables to one syllable words. Already had you. Would you rate that play a ten? A ten. <laughs> Russell Wilson, like we're running what play? The ten right? play. The ten, the ten X four jet sweet. What? The yeah. Tenth? No ten. <laughs> so, but you know, and and they said that Justin Fields is going to do well in his offense too because he likes to have mobile quarterbacks. Yeah. So uh, they said that this should 
should hopefully work out. But everybody's saying that we're just borrowing Justin Fields, that he's not the guy they're keeping, that after this year, that they're probably going to sign Russell to a multi-year deal. Well, I mean, it's still March. Like, Yeah, I mean, shit gets said now. I mean, the draft still hasn't even happened. and Right, still and you got to per- watch it play out. And- well, they're they're um they're interviewing uh a wide receiver this week at the end of the week on Friday I think they're interviewing uh Williams from out of the San Diego yeah well, so LA. yeah like I'm like or yeah LA, the Chargers whatever city they're in uh I'm like he's another I mean yeah he's an old he's a he's a vet at this point but like it's like he's another good guy to have in the in the locker room especially since we are going to have a younger wide receiver core now with Pickett or Pickens and and I mean Calvin Austin like I don't even really know who else we have I would I mean Pickens is going to get a lot like most of the targets now yeah because that's what they said like you know it'll definitely benefit him like you should see they said that like you should hopefully see his attitude change because he'll be able to you know, he's, we've seen him do it again. They, they, you know, they said it last year, like he's had flashes of those. He just burns people down the field, throw it up and he grabs it. Yeah. And they said that you'll be able to see a lot more of that because Artie Smith is great with the play action because Artie likes to do a lot of run plays. So that'll help open up the wide receivers more because everybody's going to bite in on the run, but then they could do a play action. And and, and Russ will be and then Russ has got an arm still. Like Russ proved it last year. He can throw the ball down the field. Right. Like, yeah, again, he's an old dude, but he's uh, they again I was watching ESPN today and they were oh, that wasn't him, but they were comparing Justin Fields. And they said Justin Fields last year, uh, you know, the year started out rough with him in Chicago, but they started picking it up a little bit towards the end. He ended the season with almost the same numbers and same percentages as Lamar Jackson. Touchdown. He like to fumble the ball, though. There wasn't even fumbles. It was, I mean, he had a few more picks. He had like five more picks than, than, uh, than Lamar. Mm-hmm. But their throwing percentage was the same. Their quarterback rating was the same. Oh, actually, the one thing he did beat Lamar in was how many rushing yards. And we know Lamar runs. But Justin Fields had more rushing yards than Lamar Jackson did last year. And I'm like, oh, maybe this will work out. Like, I mean, I'm for it. It can't know, get any not, worse than last year. Right, and I'm not going to go all Yinzer. Like, we're going to the Super Bowl, bro. Hold on. Just because we got quarterbacks doesn't mean everything yet. Like, oh, we got to be that Yinzer. We got to go down to Strip District. We got to get our, our our knockoff Russell Wilson tees. <laughs> Where they get Russell Wilson's hand. <laughs> no, he's three. He's three. Three. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, like I said, we'll just see how it goes. But the free agency has been pretty fucking crazy. Yeah. And they said that him getting rid of Kenny Pickett, that was like the last of Kevin Colbert, the previous GM. That was like the last of his team. Like the roster going into this year is a lot of the moves and drafts that Omar Khan has made. So. He's putting together the team the way he wants it. And so far, Tomlin's okay with it all. Evidently, yeah. Tomlin Tomlin loves Justin Fields. Oh, like I he, know. He's wanted him on the team, like, since day one. Right? And all I keep thinking of, suck his dick. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Like, it, like, come on, you know me. is like when it's, when it's, like, crazy and they're, like, upset. Suck his dick already. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, it's going to be crazy. I mean, it's been a crazy offseason art. You know, it's weird to see the Steelers names in a lot of the media chatter for crazy stuff like this. Like the Steelers weren't really known for making these huge moves or big contract signings. So it's like, okay, the Russ one kind of blew everybody away. Like, yeah, because again, we knew that. Justin Fields was linked to Pittsburgh a couple other times, like even towards the end of the year last year when they kind of knew that he wasn't going to be in Chicago anymore. And again, with Tomlin saying he loved them. And evidently there was, we were one of four or five teams that wanted him 
but he told his agent told the bears ownership like he wants to go to pittsburgh like he does not want to go to the they didn't name who the other places were but he didn't want to go to any of them he wanted to go to pittsburgh so they they said that chicago just wanted to kind of just get him off the books get it clear they wanted to move on and they just felt like instead of being the bad guy and just sending them somewhere crappy or sending their you know have it kind of like the kenny thing like sending them out with their being drama they just were like no let's just move it let's just send him where he wants to go we're going to get what we're going to get for him and that's that so he wanted to come here so i don't know we'll see right i mean it is what it is you can't really sit there and go like you know you can't make it like this like espn and be like yeah. oh well they have this and all this weaponry so they should be look like we were talking before oh yeah it looks great on paper but until it's executed i mean if tomlin was able to win with the team that he had last year when some of those wins were close pulled out of our ass at the end wins but if he was able to win with the team that we had last year i think you could add an extra win or two on this year's team go like this next year's team again maybe around the same just because there's going to be a learning curve with the new OC and again, new freaking players. Yeah. But if they all click and they all get everything going and training camp and stuff over the summer, I think that the yeah, other they should have a pretty decent season. I'm not expecting them to go in there blowing teams out. Yeah, right, I mean, right. we we know that them playing in the AFC North, Cleveland, Cincy, and Baltimore. What we see each of those teams twice a year, those are going to be all hot, hard fought games. They always are, it's just the way the AFC North is, right? So, you know, I didn't but look at if you want to get to the dance, you have to beat Kansas City, yeah. And they're loading up with some weapons too. They uh, they picked up uh, Hollywood Brown from Arizona, so they got another wide receiver for, for Mahomes to throw to, right? And I mean, yeah, it's just it again. It's like it's like the it's like Tom Brady and the Patriots all over again. But it's like I don't think there's as much drama around the KC shit because, like, with with New England, there was the whole the Flategate scandal, the recording scandal, and this and that. Like, so it was like people hated them even more. Like with KC, it's like. You got to respect their game. Like they're they're a good team. They're good players. I was like, they're I mean, a great fucking team. Andy Reid is a great coach. Like I give that guy a ton of credit. Absolutely. But, it, but it's just like you're just like oh, tired of them. <laughs> like right. I mean, just like I'd imagine there's people that are were tired of us too. Like yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. I get it. You know, and that's that's it happens. It's not your team, so I get it. Uh, yeah, every so often there's going to be that team that just kind of runs the gambit for a while. And again, for what was it like twenty years? It was New England. Mm -hmm. Or we're on. I don't know what year we're on now with with the fucking Kansas City Chiefs. With the Chiefs, but I mean, who knows? Somebody will knock them off their pedestal, and it'll be somebody else for a while. Yeah, it'll be somebody else's game for a while or whatever. I mean, Buffalo's been up there. I mean, San Fran's got a hell of a squad out there. I mean, there's and there's so many changes and so much stuff going. I think the NFL is just going to be interesting in general this year because of all the stories that are happening throughout it. Teams getting new QBs, teams getting new coaches. I mean, you got uh, another Harbaugh, Harbaugh back in the league coaching out with the Chargers. Like, it, it's it it's it's crazy what what this year is gonna look like when you look ahead like wow there's so much crazy shit going on right so um did you see that they're doing a bray wyatt documentary no yep on april 1st they're gonna do a bray wyatt documentary on peacock okay i uh, think it's uh, uh i think it's tired like titled like forever immortal or something like that oh, Dude, don't get, i mean don't get sad about it bro listen i am <laughs> my face is leaking from every possible or like i was like <laughs> my it, nose is like everywhere my eyes yeah. like i told donna earlier i was like i feel like i just watched like fucking the saddest 
movies whatsoever. And like, I've just been, like, again, I was watching Pat McAfee and I'm crying. I'm crying watching Pat McAfee. Like, you finally got in your lifetime fucking channel bag. That's it. Yeah, you did. Hallmark all day today. Like, Hallmark all day today. Like, fuck, fuck it. I'm just going like, to be a little bit more I can't win. Like, I said, I was, we were just talking. It, we had dinner before me and you hopped on, and I was like, well, my face don't hurt as much because I woke up Sunday. Like I said, it wasn't even so much that I was hungover or lack of sleep because we slept in too. Like it, it wasn't anything like that. It was that I woke up and whatever this is that I have going on, like Sunday was like, yep, we're going to kick in to a, a hundredfold. Like my face hurt, my mouth hurt. Like it was like sinus stuff all over. Like I couldn't open my eyes because my eyes hurt. Like. I was just full in it. And then right. we had to do laundry, which we're still doing at her parents' house. So I was like, can you see if your mom can come grab you? And like, there's no way I'm <laughs> be able to get you up there. So her mom came and got her and her mom took Jane to work for us uh, in the afternoon. And then I had to, we went and picked Jane up at uh, 10 o'clock last night Jesus. from work. So, uh, yeah, but I messaged my boss around dinner time and I was like, yeah, I don't think I'm making it into work tomorrow. Like, <laughs> there's no way we yeah. went and picked, we went and picked up Jane from work and the store was still open. I went in and bought two fuck two giant like I bought like almost two liter size uh, day quill and night quill liquids. <laughs> like, I've been yeah, drinking those. Party. I'm drinking those all day. Well, fucking yesterday we sit down. I'm on the recliner and brandy's like says something she's like well hey are you gonna go it was like clean out the crock pot or something because she was gonna make this like dinner thing i looked yeah. at her and i was like no yeah. like i'm not doing nothing well like, that's like uh, when you called me and we were talking uh just kind of catching up from from the night before mm -hmm. and you were like well you guys do i heard you doing brunch and i was like Actually, it doesn't sound bad, but I don't want to go anywhere. Because I, I was thinking, like, well, we could get the kid to school or the at work. She had to be at work at one, and I'm like, we could always meet up with you guys for like a one o'clock lunch or something. But there was just no way that was happening. Hold on. Hold on, it gets better. So yesterday, I I was talking to my dad be, prior to or Saturday be, before we all went out. Telling him, like, what my day was consisting of, what I was doing, whatnot. Because he was bringing that clothes for Xander. And I said, um, you can just drop him off. You know what I mean? You have the key to the house, so whatever. Yeah. He dropped him off yesterday. Oh. While we were sleeping So. Oh, yeah, you told me. Because you were like, oh, my dad was even here. I didn't even know. <laughs> like... And then what's crazy, right, is I got up, walked in here, saw the bag, and... Then I called him. I was like, why didn't you just wake me up? Yeah. He, he's like, oh, you know, you never know what's happening back here. Sleep, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Sleep. I no hibbity, no dibbity, no who, nothing. Nothing's <laughs> happening. And then I said. We, we, you know, we have a new word for that at our house. We were just watching TV and the guy on TV called it. We wacky hoo hoo. I love it. <laughs> My kid was dying. She thought it was the greatest thing. I love it. And then that's all right. Cause yesterday I kept fucking with Brandy. Cause like, I swear to God, I love this woman, but she has like the selective ass hearing. Okay. And mind you, we're in my living room. She's fucking stone's throw away from me. Uh -huh. And I'll say something. She'll be like, what? <laughs> yeah. So now I started going, I said something like, let's find something to watch on TV. Huh? I said we're gonna find something to watch on TV. I already say it a second time to reiterate it for the fucking the whole thing. Just to make sure. Right. And she was like, babe, because that's all I swear to God. The woman should just have a fucking ringtone and just says babe all the time. Because like she just should know by now that this is who I am. Yeah. Like I'm a I'm definitely a sensitive down to earth man that cares, but I'm also an asshole. Yeah. And so when she'll go, babe, I'm like, why? Like, I I repeated myself like forty times yesterday. Yeah, just because, just to get the point across. So <clears throat> then, when she said something about 
in that fucking crock pot. I was like, what? I'm not doing the crock pot. Yeah. Like, just, uh uh-uh. But I did my dishes and all that shit today, so. Yeah. But, so my dad brought over all kinds of shit for Xander. And when I was going through the bag, I noticed half the shit because I wore it to Perry. Oh, damn. So when, if you remember when I lived with my dad the first time around. Yeah. My dad would have those old minor league hockey teams and all those jerseys. And I thought they were really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're, they're here now. Nice. They're here. Like, and they still look brand new. And the best part is your nephew now has a mighty ducks Jersey. Sweet. Like the purple, like the, like the teal. Yeah. And I asked him today, I said, uh, okay, your pick. Cause it's, I mean, it's cold this week here yeah. in Pittsburgh. So I was like, what? You want to wear a hockey jersey tomorrow? And he was like, yeah. I was like, which one? He's like, the Ducks. And I was like, nice. I was like, okay, dude, calm down. <laughs> so he has like um, a Mighty Ducks one, like a Minnesota one, like the minor league. Yeah. Um, a couple Team Canada ones. Like, dude, do you remember my dad's old Ken Norton Jr. jersey? This yeah. Different one? Yeah. I own it now. Nice. And this is what makes it even crazier. I fit it. Awesome. I was like, I put it on yesterday and I was like, look at me. And Brandy was like, holy shit. I was like, I know. This is crazy. But yeah. it's it's more or less for Xander. Yeah. But I was like, yeah, people then the kids ain't gonna know who the fuck Ken Norton Jr. is. No. Old school old school San Fran style fucking jersey. But yeah, like the whole thing that was killing me, he was like I didn't want to interrupt anything. Me snoring? Yeah. Like, bro, what the fuck? <sighs> Good God, Dad. That's your yeah. dad. Yeah, it's my daddy. Like, but he don't even call. Like, he just walks in. Okay. What if I'm out of the shower by myself? Yeah. I mean, I'm your kid. I get it. But I don't want you looking at my man parts. <laughs> and I'd be like, hey, dad, how's it hanging? <laughs> like, fuck, dude. But I, I told him, I was like, you know, you could have just called me. Yeah. And he's like, well, I, I thought you'd be up. I dude, told you, my, I told my, you what my... I was doing. <laughs> yeah, you like, knew. And then, of course, him giving me the third degree as I'm 41, like, it's going to make me feel bad. It didn't. No. He was. He's like, well, you were out all fucking night drinking, blah 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 blah. I was like, when's the last time I did that? Yeah. And he was just quiet on the phone. I was like, okay, so shut your whore fucking mouth. <laughs> and by the way, I want to shout out my cousin Tyler because that's my new thing. Because, um, so at Nora's party, which is if anybody doesn't know, that's Charles and Brittany's daughter. We said something, and Tyler was like, shut your whore mouth. And I was like, oh, I love that. <laughs> I was like, I really like that. He was like, you can use it for your show. And I was like, oh, I'm going <laughs> to. Yeah. So, and if you remember, we are at the pitch. He said something, and we were talking. He's like, shut your whore ass mouth. Yeah. I was like, dude, I'm telling you, I love it. I fucking love it. <laughs> so that's my new thing. So if... I wish we, we need we need some fucking shirts to just shut your horror ass mouth. Yeah. <laughs> so tell me more about this realtor. Oh, so uh, yeah. <clears throat> so we we talk about it plenty of times. So I bowl on Wednesdays, and one of the guys on my team, uh, he's he's like our age. Um, he's a realtor. He works at a Coldwell banker. Um, but yeah, like he said, it's getting to be like that time of year you know people are looking to buy houses and shit and i guess the housing market's actually making a come up i don't know i haven't bought a house so i don't know what yeah, it was right. like but he yeah he uh so i told him like so he did this really cool thing where he brought um he brought these uh like pirate schedules you know baseball season starting so he has these pirate schedules he he had printed out but at the top of them it has his uh, business info and he was like it's just a promo thing you know you pass out 
baseball schedule and I got my shit on it in case anybody's looking for a realtor. And I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. So I told him if he was looking for any other type of publicity or whatever, just to let me know that I didn't think you'd have a problem, you know, give him a little shout out. So his name's Matt. Cool dude. If anybody's looking for a realtor, just hit me up on any of the socials and I can help you get in contact with them. Um, like I said, he works out of Coldwell Banker, I believe it is, but he has his own thing he does, his own business. So uh, good dude. Um, and he comes from like the construction field, I believe. So it's not like you're just going in and dealing with like a salesman. Like he can go in and tell you about structure stuff and like he'll make sure you're getting like a good deal and like, oh yeah, this house is falling apart. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like he'll be able to point stuff out to you. So really good dude really nice like i said young guy uh you know just trying to make a name for himself in the in that world so funny how that's how we're what we're doing here yeah we're just trying to make names for ourselves yeah so that's what i said like so i told him you know i mean that's what he said he was like he was he was like you know then he got interested he's like oh you got a podcast and i'm like yeah yeah <laughs> we do yeah we gotta got something up and running you know he's like you got, got all, he goes you got a lot of followers and i'm like no, nah, I don't know. I don't run the numbers. My buddy does. That's his side of the like, business. I, I handle the analytics. <laughs> I mean, I will. I will put it out there that the first video one got way more views than I thought. So, yeah. So, again, thank y'all, and thank you for subscribing. And yeah. if you like it, I guess I could file. I'll fucking say it. I never wanted to. You can like and subscribe to click the button. Yeah. I never wanted to be one of those people. Listen, I, I, I never was like a YouTube subscriber. And I, we mentioned this, I think, on the, the first episode last week, or it might have been just me and you off air talking. Like, I, I, there's only a few things. Like, I'll go watch random dumb videos on YouTube sometimes, but I have started following a few things and subscribing to some people's accounts on YouTube. And it, it is pretty cool. So that was the first thing I did is I, Last week when you posted the new video, obviously I went and followed it. But uh, yeah, it's cool just though to see, like, wow, we have a subscribe now. Like I'm used to subscribing to other people's shit, not yeah, right, our own shit. Like, it, I mean, it it is pretty cool. It's I'll cool, it yeah. So, but like, I my thing was, and I I I digress. I say I said this, like, I never thought this. Yeah, would it be this far? Yeah, and like to do this from starting in my room at my dad's house, yeah, starting everything over. I never thought this would be here, you know. And I don't know. I mean, obviously, it works. People like it, and like I just ran into the one client matt and he was like you did a video and i was like yeah <laughs> yeah and he was like oh so now you got a youtube i was like if you've been paying attention yes like you know yeah. what i mean but i mean i don't care if you listen to me for 30 seconds that's still one view yep that's still one listen so i don't care but i feel that you know being in the second one of these I think more than likely we can try our first guest probably yeah. next week. Oh, cool. Yeah. And then set Sounds that good. up, which is going to be none other than Miss Samantha is going to join us. So, yep. I let you handle the bookings. You just give me a heads up. Buckle the fuck up because now you get to match the accent with the pretty lady. So, yeah. It's fine. She might have. She's a little lady. She's a little short one, so you might have to tilt it down a little bit or something. I mean, that's on her. <laughs> that's on her. She, she gotta fix the camera. She gonna have to. She gonna have to prop it up. But she's excited. She's ready, of course. Uh, Brandon's gonna come soon. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I asked Brandon to be a part of it, and Brandon was like, "Yeah, man, absolutely." He is episodes behind. Oh. Uh, yeah. Well, he was I like, mean, it is. It's you know. He was like, I'm listening. To, uh, last one I listened to was where when Brenton was on. I was like, dude, it's it's it doesn't make me feel bad. You know no. what I mean? They're it takes there. time. Like, like I said, even for me, like I there's a few things that I subscribe to on YouTube that I watch or listen to podcast wise, and it's like, yeah, I'll get on there and I'm like, oh 
crap. Like I didn't realize I'm too, they've already put out two, three episodes. I'm like, Shit. right. And what's funny is a lot of people do one podcast video, like a month. Yeah. You know what I mean? Where we do one every week. So yeah. I, I will always keep it that way because yeah. it's fresh and people like it and they're excited by it. But that's the nice thing is, is you're not forced to have to watch it like up to speed. Like you can watch it at your, you can listen or watch at your own pace and you know. Yes. You, all of you get to watch it at your own pace. Yeah. I thought we were having a cameo. Oh, uh, I keep looking over this way because you're yeeting it on the TV over there. Oh, I bet. We got the it's Uso. Just me, Us. We got the Uso bros in the ring together. Oh, uh, see. <laughs> I I was like I, I might want to do two separates after Mania, like okay. um WrestleMania recap because I know people like when we discuss it. Yeah, and that's cool. And maybe we can we can recap WrestleMania, but um maybe just do two of them. But yep. Somebody's getting impatient. <laughs> it happens. I well I I was, I was like I was like, hey, I gotta I was like, I'm gonna shut the door. I was like, I'm gonna go record the podcast with Uncle Eric. And he was like, Okay. It was so it was so cute. He was like, Good luck. <laughs> and I was like, Oh man, like <laughs> that's awesome. Now like, I can't he, fail because my kid said good luck. I was like, I haven't. It's it's crazy. Like today, oh, hey, before, before we go, I have to fucking say this. So I watched my son do the grown man grab like nine bags of fucking groceries. Yeah. And dude, he goes, uh, uh, it's so heavy. I was like, you don't have to grab nine bags. But he's like, well, I just want to get it all done in one trip. He did, dude. And the best part was it was so Gee, first I pulled up to the house and I told him, I said, hey, do me a favor. Can you move the trash can and so daddy could park the car? Sure. So he does that. And then I was going and I took like, I take a bag or two and then like my stuff from work. Yeah. And I was going in. I never told him to go grab the groceries. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? But I think he, he understands now. Like we went shopping to bring them in. He, yeah, he does. Help. And right. So when i came back outside to help him is when i saw uh he asked me to print him out some papers from work so he has them in his hand uh. strapped with bags <laughs> he has this hand with the drink that he bought from shop and save with three bags here for <laughs> he has his book bag on top of him like over and on strapped on yeah. his shoulders and the whole time i could just look at him going Dude, and at the same time he did all this, bro, he shut the trunk with the bags in his arm. Nice. I was like, you want to put them away? <laughs> like, <laughs> what else I mean, you going to do? You did basically everything. And then he goes, no, you can make burgers now. <laughs> like, that. that's all he wanted for dinner. So I was like, okay, fine. And then I forget what I was doing. So I was starting to make dinner, and, like, I wasn't running my exhaust fan. And my entire house looked like I was partying with Snoop Dogg. <laughs> like, it just and was engulfed in smoke. And I was like, well, it smells like meat. Yeah. Not weed. Yeah, right. Not wrong with coke, smoked meat. <laughs> I thought you said coke. I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> no, that was Saturday night. <laughs> Dude, by the way, that was two twenty five for that little fucking mini can of coke. I told you. You what? Like, <laughs> like, oh my god! A dollar more, I could have bought a twelve pack of them at the store. Right? I was like, it is. This is ridiculous. I know, but I was. It was just funny because I was like, can I get a coke? Everybody at the table looked. They were like, you what? 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 And I was like, Coca Cola. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, right. Like I'm this out. is Lawrenceville, not you know Southside. Yeah. Right. Well, I guess well, we'll wrap it up for this week. Um, all righty. Make sure you follow us. Subscribe to all the uh, Social. cho socials for Cho Thoughts podcast. 
or like reach out to Eric, reach out to myself. If you want to be a guest or drop a DM in the podcast. Um, that's about it. I don't really have anything else besides that. Nothing really important. We're just going to keep doing this and uh, we'll send it all over and it'll be up by tomorrow morning. Sounds good. All right. As always, he's Big E. I'm the Big Cho. And this has been Cho Thoughts. Later. Later.